everybody. Welcome to Spinnerack. Today I have Cal and I have PD. We want to talk about that question that's on everybody's lips. Is Wonder Woman queer? Huh? Or is bisexual? It o- is it okay to say that? Or any of those things? No idea. Look, Greg Rekka comes out and in this interview, not in the comic, I thought she was outed in the comic, so it's sort of not official. It's more like pseudo-official because this is what Greg Rucka is saying and not DC proper. But he's saying, yeah, Wonder Woman, you know, is bisexual or queer. And I'm looking over the interview, and it's not definitive when you look when you look at that. But they're running away with it. You know, she's bisexual, and it overturns a lot of the history of the character. And for what? I'm not on board with it. I mean, I'm pretty much done with Greg Rucker's Wonder Woman run at this point, and I was semi enjoying it. But I'm just not. I'm not. I'm not for it at all. Well, I would say it also seems like. DC just wants to benefit from this buzz. They're like, any press is good press. So it's like the same with the Marvel pointing out, or was it Riri, Ironheart, and the Moon Girl. Now they have something they can boost without even boosting or even saying it. Like people waiting, is next issue? Which issue which is, is she going to come out in? And then all the, the, I guess, the queer and or gay followers are just like, yeah, DC, they made a step in the right direction when it's more like, uh, like, token. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, we're just going to make something just to draw you in and people keep falling for it. And it You rewrote the character. You, re- yeah. you rewrote the entire history of this character to, I don't even know if you can call it pandering at this point, yeah. but you rewrote the history of this character and... For what, at the end of the day? You only have two sellable points. The issue where she comes out, yes, I like women too. And the issue where we actually see her in bed with some chick. And then you're done. Mm-hmm. After that, there's nothing else with it. But you know, Cal, I'm not exactly sure about that. I mean, because I got to say the obvious. She is on a woman on an island full of women. And so you would figure that they're on the island. There's going to be some feelings caught there. Just like they are here in, 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 in current life. You know, so... I don't know if we can go and condemn him for that. No, because you know? Themyscira is not... One, Themyscira is not man's world, okay? It's like Smallville to a certain extent where it's this idyllic place where the hero can learn what's needed to be learned, where they can f- get the foundering that they need, and then they're going to come into the real world just like any other classic hero. Then they're going to come into the real world, and because they were able to come from this idyllic place, they're not going to be subject to the you know the corruption or the temptations, you know, of this particular world. It's almost like Jesus going into the desert for 40 days, you know, those sorts of things. But historically, it was never shown that the women on Themyscira were involved in relationships up until maybe Perez got on in 86 when there was like some, maybe some heavy undertones of it. But this was supposed to be this idyllic place and they were really above those sorts of things. They were more about intellectual pursuits. I kind of disagree with you because you know what, prior to the beginning of a lot of these um, comic book stories, they had a particular worldview, you know, and, and as time has gone by, those worldviews have changed. They've become more diverse and more inclusionary in what they've included. But how is this diversity? You know? So all, all, all I'm just trying to say is that if you're trying to say, well, just because it was like this before in the past, they just didn't include it, it was a different story. I mean, back then, you had the comic code, which was more strictly enforced than it is now. And so I think that... But the, the, comic, the comic code comes no. in the 1950s. Right, but I'm just saying, and, and, and that came out after when. When did Wonder Woman come out? 1940s. Right, 1940, but, actually. And they followed the comic code afterwards, right? But that's a, almost, you're talking almost 10, um, almost 15 years later. Right, but I mean, they're kind, who were they going after? They were going after kids back then, right? But they weren't doing, um, you know, sort of same-sex stories before that. Yeah, exactly. Just for kids, so they don't, there's no reason for it to even come up now. So you know you have an adult more, following. Right, it's a much more adult following yeah. now. So it can make sense why you right. to handle these, these type of, these type of um, subjects now. Let's go the other you, way. You're just what putting about, yourself about, in the mix because it's, a, it's an island filled with hot, hot women. <laughs> well, say, I would say, what about the Ellen show, right? Ellen did a show where she was hetero, right? And then she came out in the, and the, you know, towards the end just for ratings to save her show. Not, it, didn't, did it, it, work? it didn't save the show. It didn't save the show and at it's all. It's not going to save Wonder Woman. <laughs> this is right, akin so to I, I, I agree with you where you're saying that they're trying to do this to save, to save the show. I'm not disagreeing. But when you look at the logic, it's an island full of women. The, 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 no the logic bus, to it. The, yeah. yeah. The, just the, the trying act, to get money. If you, go by, if you want to go by logic, okay, fine. That means some of the women yes. on this island 
would be lesbians. Some of the women on this island would be bisexual, yes, yes. but some of the women would also have to be heterosexual. So what are the heterosexual women doing all of that time before Steve Trevor gets there? And then when Steve Trevor lands on the island, the only woman who seems to be attracted to him is Princess Diana. The rest of them seem, oh, you got a man on the island. We need to get rid of him. Well, hey, mm -hmm. if you're all bisexual or if you're all lesbians, you really don't care that this dude is there anyway. But if there's some heterosexual women, they should be more than one woman attracted to him, especially if they're heterosexual and there's been no man on this island mm -hmm. for some thousands of years. You would think he wouldn't be able to get out of there in one piece. I totally disagree. I think that you have, most of the women there were not like her born there. You know what I'm trying to say? And on top of that, you know, they had, a lot of them came because they had, they, they had some type of um, negative relations with men previously. So that makes them now bisexual? You know, I'm not saying it makes them bisexual, but I'm saying it no, colors no, that their was, relationship. That was, they, we don't have to deal with the Perez version, though. Yeah. Because the Perez version was also sort of softened when Byrne came, and it's not dealing with the, not wanting to have that aspect where you have, like, the caveman hitting the woman and killing and them saving the life. So they sort of lessen that, and then now the continuity is, well, I don't know what it is now, but it's not that anymore. Yeah, and the, con the, the modern continuity, the most recent Wonder Woman, is that the Amazons actually go and have sex with men. They will go and they would see men on these ships and they'll go and present themselves, have sex with the men, and then kill them all. Because, you know, hey, that was, you know, that's what they were going. I don't so think why that one... Kill them? For procreation or just kill them just to kill them? Hey, procreation, some pleasurable procreation, I would think, because they're not just going over here. If they just want to impress, if they just want to get pregnant, they really don't need to, you know... They don't need to couple with these dudes in order to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are other ways to go about it, especially since this is an island of si high science and magic. They don't have to do that. They right, can but, artificially inseminate themselves. But they clearly don't. So they must be into, <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? So, into what? Well, I, they must be into some weird business, you know what I'm trying but to say? But that's what makes it so problematic because it's not about, when some people want to argue, oh, well, this was part of Greek culture. Every culture on the planet, okay, has homosexual people mm -hmm. a part of it. So it's not limited to Greek culture or Roman culture or any particular culture. And they just focus on the sex. That's all it is. It's the licentiousness. It's the, the titillation of this island of attractive women. Okay? There are no unattractive Amazons on this island. So it's all of these attractive women getting it on. And who's the top one? Princess Diana. So now, of course, we get to see her with the girlfriend. We'll get to see her sex face, and that'll be cool. And the, the idea that for some reason, if you're on an island and it's all women... Oh, you know, of course, you know, there's going to be all this bisexuality or lesbians. No, it doesn't work like that. Well, sexuality is, no, of sexuality is supposed to be the argument for years because these are the same people who was like, oh, we can pray away the gay. And they're like, no, you can't do that mm -hmm. because sexuality is what you're born with. It doesn't matter about your environment. It's what you're born with. We're now saying that, oh, no, their we're environment not going into, is we're what We're not going to the argument about environment or... or you just or, or did. You said the island is filled with women, so of course they have to be some sexual, <laughs> some bisexual I'm just saying, ones. you know, there's what a lot of tricks, you know what I'm trying to say? What? Oh, gosh. Yeah, look. Huh? What? I'm not, well, the no. other we, we have to agree the other to problem is, No, we don't agree to disagree with nothing. <laughs> you agree to disagree. No, you locked yourself into oh, it, and now God. you want to try to get out of it. I'm just saying. Well, hey, all right. It's like if you went to an old boys' school for 12 years. What, you suck some dude off within no, those 12 what, years? What, what happens if you go to a prison? You know what I'm trying to say? That's you know different, say, man, and know. you know why. You know, it's like an island, it's a prison, you know, these one, guys that get No, no, they've already done the studies. Why does that happen? Because one, testosterone is not estrogen, okay? You lock up a whole bunch of dudes in there. It doesn't mean that these dudes turn gay, but there's these guys over there, they still have the high amounts of testosterone. It's got to be released. That's why a lot of people are arguing that it's not a good thing to have these guys locked up in these close proximities. And then two... Well, where not does it necessarily, have, because you have in other countries that type not of stuff, to do that type of stuff. No. But in America, it seems to be permissive. One, because you, know you, got, you got four dudes locked up, or you got all of these dudes locked up. In low, what is when you have uh, not these high facilities? Uh, uh, we, when you have the lower facilities, it doesn't happen Dude, because they're not packed that. together. I, 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 the you brought it up. You brought it. No, you can't do that. You, you keep bringing it up and then you get short out. You about breaking oh people gosh. down. That's the whole. That's why the the what's in the COs allowed to happen? Yeah. Because the people are watching. Like what was it? When they're there, they're like saying, "Oh, let's see how far." Oh, he doesn't want to eat the food. He doesn't want to do this. They're watching you and waiting for you to completely lose. Everything that you had before, and then that's when the the they're, they're, it's not a thing. The same thing. It's not the same thing at all. Yeah, this is not a. It's not a relationship. It's not a relationship based thing. And you can't tell me that someone is like okay from birth. 
this is what I was meant to do. I was meant to break some dude down. It's a totally different thing. It's a totally different environment. Mm -hmm. Themyscira, oh. Paradise Island is not a prison. I'm just saying. It's not a prison have, environment. Uh, when, well, you know what? Let's not use the, the prison analogy, but when you have a group of people together oh, for a very God. long time, you know what I'm trying to say? But hey, all I got to say no. is I don't see anything. The end, the end result of this is I don't see. You're you know, saying. Cause by, by that logic, it, Tarzan it, was shagging an ape. <laughs> No, because he was with other people too. So you know, No, he grew no, up with apes. With he grew up with apes his apes. entire life until he meets a human being. Well then I guess that's that explains a lot. Well, okay, we see where Mario we, we see where you're coming from, big business. Okay, with the with the shallow outlook. They're not I mean again, this is a step back for the Amazons of Themyscira because I mean I think if they were at their height in the Bronze Age, because this was Paradise Island was this place of high science, okay? Of high culture and intellect and art and music. It was a really high-minded, idyllic place, and Wonder Woman comes and brings all of those values with her in an effort to be an ambassador to man's world to saying, hey, look, you know, you can do things differently. You don't have to go by these particular notions, and is friend to both male and female, okay? It was a very comforting thing. She doesn't come over and says, well, no, you guys are wrong, and so on and so on. No, she's like, look, you can do these things differently as an ambassador, and then a reluctant fighter. An excellent fighter, but a reluctant fighter. They've stripped away all of that. And for me, the nail in the coffin now is where it's more important to deal with who she wants to shag, you know, rather than how she's going to go about her mission to man's world. They've totally forgotten about that. Well, that's the other aspect of if you're doing stories, you shouldn't have to immediately try to reveal this or that. The, the same if you go to who's that? Like North Star, he spent like who knows how many years... <laughs> And then they just, on a whim, did it to get the buzz. Yep. And this is the same thing. I don't know. We all know about North Star, those damn Canadians. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, then I guess we, we, we don't... We come to a decision, basically. Don't go out and buy it. It'll be just like the Ellen TV show. Uh, that was... Got canceled. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> tough because I thought Greg Rucker did some solid storytelling with her before... He also was responsible for her snapping Max to a lord's neck, so he's kind of like back and forth with me. But I thought the start that they had with her was... A, I wasn't 100% with it, but I thought the start was a solid start. And the Wonder Woman Year One stories, those were pretty... I thought those were good as well. But, you know, when he comes out and says this, it's like, what is the direction for this character? Why is she always a cipher? Wonder Woman has no firm direction. If she's around all the women then, you know, of course she has to be bisexual or a lesbian. You put her in man's world, and then she has to be this, you know, uber killer, worse than Elektra ever was, in order for her to, you know, because she has to be looked upon at a certain standard by men. She has no direction of her own. She hasn't since Phil Jimenez was on the title. I would rather see that. This is just very, very disappointing from DC, especially since you already have lesbian and bisexual characters, that if you want to promote them, you can promote them. Wonder Woman in her entire history has never been shown to be bisexual. And this whole idea that, oh, she's always been queer, I have no idea what that means. Okay, no idea. But, hey, but then I'm, not buying, I'm not on the book anymore anyway. I mean, but then yeah. you have the whole thing where people say you have the, the, the black Green Lantern, right? And when you change characters from being one race or ethnicity to another. No, they you know didn't change. Green Lantern is a police change. force. You can no, have, but, but, you have well, aliens who are Green Lantern. Lantern. What people were saying there, or like Spider-Man, you know, where they, where they change them, or they change um, Thor into a woman. These are just another. These are just gimmicks that they use to get um, gimmicks. That's yes, the gimmicks. Key point. You know what I'm trying to say, but I don't think it necessarily distracts from the story. Whether it's what's Woman, the story though? With Wonder Woman being bisexual, what's the story? You know, she loves who she loves. What it is? That's the story. I'm just saying that aspect. There's, there's another story. Yeah, there's some groups in this country. I won't say their names, and they would definitely, definitely love to love who they love. And we say no. That's not acceptable. Well, there's a lot of things people... You can't poo-poo it. There's people who want to believe um, politically what they want to believe. And All right, I think that, we're okay? done. I yeah. think we're done here. Yeah, I think so. So once again... The consensus is in. Mario is wrong. Big business is wrong once again. I totally disagree. What are they going to do in the Wonder Woman movie? They're going to show a sucking face there, too? I don't think so. Uh, well, <laughs> the way it's going along, who knows? <laughs> it's been a long time. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you for um, listening to Spinnerack, and hope to give you more... Um, interviews like this in the future. Spin a rack out. Later. Oops.